Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Nate with Tiny Hilltop. Got my compost, I'm gonna start spreading that today. I'm gonna start over in the greenhouse, uh, my longer one, lay some paper down and put compost. I'm starting there because I'm gonna be transplanting tomatoes and cucumbers in there directly into the soil so I can leave the compost on top and not worry about it. The other bed I still have to shape I'm a little worried about doing the same system over there because I'm direct sowing carrots and spinach and radishes and lettuce. So I don't know if they would germinate with the heavy compost on top. I think, uh, I think it would rot the seeds. So I'm still kind of thinking in my mind what I want to do over there. I think I might use uh, a weeder to kind of weed the top inch and then use the, the digging fork. Um, we'll actually then spread the compost then kind of use a digging fork and rake about the top inch to kind of mix it in a little bit. Ideally, I should have been doing this in the fall, but I can't go back in time yet. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, just gonna start spreading, and see where the day takes me. I don't want to roll it out because that'll just smush everything I used, I loosened up with the digging fork. So I'm just going to cut sections and throw the compost on top. I bought this one in a stripe pattern to make my rows appear a little bit wider than they actually are. Just getting it rained. UPS guys here. The best part about having a chronic illness, or one of the best parts, is I order things online and then I forget what I order. So it's like Christmas. What do you think it is? I think the most likely explanation is that Hogwarts misplaced my letter, and this is a broom wand combo to make up for that misplacement. Or the Jedi Council sent me an actual lightsaber. Or it could be a weeder. It's a weeder. But only a wizard could have known that. I forgot I ordered this. It's a VOC free, uh, eco friendly wood preservative. So I'm gonna use it on my arbor. You can plant next to it, it's non toxic. And it's supposed to protect wood for 20, 30 years. So we will see how that works out. Back to work. The middle is gonna be a little trickier. I don't know if I'll be able to get my wheelbarrow down the aisle. I obviously don't want it to go down the row or the bed. I don't know if the bed's a row. Got those beds all shaped out with some compost. I'm gonna call her a day, pretty tired. Tomorrow I'm gonna get up and uh, start working in my other area, figure out what I'm gonna do. Think about it tonight and then get after it in the morning.
Good morning. So today I'm just gonna take the, the weeder and get the weeds off the top inch or so of the soil and then spread compost and use a digging fork to loosen it to get it all mixed in um, without tilling. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take those weeds and make a big pile in the greenhouse for the girls to pick through. I aborted the chicken tractor. So if you're keeping score at home, that's two I've built now that I'm not using currently. The reason I aborted it, it worked well. I put them on a few spots and they cleared it a little bit. The problem is they start, they're smart and they knew every time I went in there in the morning to grab them, what I was doing and they don't like, you know, being grabbed. So they got really skittish and I don't want them to be afraid of me. I don't want them to be stressed out. So I just let them free, I let them free range completely. I figure if I want to be out here living free, fighting the man, it'd be hypocritical for me to put my girls in a cage. So I just let them do what they want. Got a couple beds done. I'm gonna try to do about two a day until it's done. Um, I need to start getting up earlier. We're getting to about noon right now and it's just hot and the asphalt's starting to bother me. So I need to figure out how to work around it. It's frustrating, you know, cause I live in the middle of nowhere, but such is life, I guess. Um, I'll figure out how to work around it. I think I'll just have to get up earlier and work more when it's cooler out before the sun gets up, which I'm fine with cause I'm not a big fan of the heat anyway. I'm 7.6% Scandinavian, so I like the cold. But anyway, got a couple done. I appreciate you hanging out with me while I did it. I appreciate the, the likes. I always appreciate the comments. Take it easy, I'll catch you later.